I can say whatever I want. What do you mean I better not? What are you talking about? Okay. You're coming with me. For what? You do not get away with calling me an ass. How's it going guys? Watching the Watchmen here, out with Amagansett Press, here in Sundance, Wyoming. And today we're at the Sundance Post Office. And uh, as usual, we're gonna take a look around, uh, take some video, here on public property, on the public sidewalk, and uh, in the public building, and see if the folks here respect our First Amendment right to do so. So here's the sign. Uh, flag looks like it's in uh, decent shape. A lot of federal property have issues with upkeep, and I know you guys are interested in taking a look at that when we come to federal buildings, so that's... Uh, what we got here today. So we'll see how it goes. The lady that went inside just said there's like three people outside walking around with cameras. She's talking on the phone. How's it going, Watchman? What's up? So there's parking for uh, postal Red employees Red only in the back here. And uh, as some of you guys know, AP does uh, open carry That's where legal. Should go uh, check out the back there. But, Wanna go around the back first? Yeah. Sure. So it looks like this parking here is, is reserved for uh, postal employees on the side of the building. What is that, like inside the uh, office there? I guess. Yeah, I guess. Somebody's office. And you have uh, employee entrance here. It's a pretty decent uh, amount of PO boxes. I think there's only like a thousand people in uh, Sundance. So guess we'll hang out, see if we can get some folks going in and out. Yeah. As you can see, uh, there aren't any of the normal signs, uh, anything about social distancing or masks or anything. And uh, all they have in there is uh, no pets allowed and no smoking, uh, which is pretty typical. So. So, so far, no issues. Um, you know, every time we say that, something ends up happening. But, you know, so far, no issues taking video. And uh, I'm sure we'll go inside soon. So, stand by. Stay tuned. What? The, uh, what's the right word you're supposed to say? Plus size woman with the yellow shirt on? <laughs> and they're freaking out. Now she's at the counter. Really? Yeah. Oh, well. Spoke too soon. I thought nobody uh, nobody cared, but well, we'll see. Let's see if I could get a glance at uh, what AP was talking about. Yeah, so I see uh, a bigger bigger stature woman in there um, at the counter. So we'll see uh, see what happens. Well, in the town I'm from, it would yeah. be strange to walk up to somebody on the street and ask them what they're doing. 
Oh, not that's in our town because we know everybody here. Yeah. And I, so, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you and too. Good luck. Good yeah, like, what are you guys doing? Take us a video of the post office. Oh, why? For what? Who did? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I don't know. You know, in my uh, private life, and I'm not trying to prove a point here, I might answer all those questions. Maybe. Oh. Probably. If I felt like it. But uh, the whole point here is, is that you're under no obligation to have to answer those questions. And uh, you know, odds are that if somebody goes and calls the police and makes some wild, dramatized report about us, it'll be somebody like her or her. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm not looking to tell her everything I'm doing right off the bat. It was like you were saying the other day, too. I don't remember if you were saying it on video or if we were just talking, but if you saw someone taking video in public, why would you just go interrupt their video, stand right in front of it, and ask them what they're right, doing? Right, that's yeah, kind of rude. Exactly. Yeah, I think that's a little, uh, yeah. And then they'll say you're being rude taking video on them when they just walked up to your camera and interrupted your video. Yeah. It'll be fascinating to see what the uh, employees do. Oh yeah, especially after all the yeah. pre, you know, yeah. prelude, pre, prelude. All right, guys. So uh, AP is going to go uh, put his uh, firearm away because, unfortunately, whether it's uh, technically legal or not, if you go into the post office uh, carrying, you're going to have some issues uh, if you're carrying openly. But, uh, yeah, so it's going to do that, and then we're going to go inside and uh, see how the employees uh, react to the cameras. So, never know at a post office. Even in small towns like this, you know, you'd figure people are friendly, but, uh, you know, depending on who's working behind the counter out there, you could have a, a shit show. So, we'll see how it goes. After you, sir? Notice Thank how you. there's like no signage. Yeah, there's really nothing. No except the uh, service dog and yeah. no stuff. Pretty cool. Nice and cool in here. I think there's an argument to be made there, since most post offices don't have that on the uh, on the door. If you walked in. Well, there's a whole discussion to be had about that. Yeah. We'll get into that one day. Um, so here is poster seven. Two hundred sixteen. Post office box area. Oh, we have a Cook County Sheriff. <laughs> Interesting. He's like, I don't see anybody out here. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Uh, let's go get our stamp. He can come in and uh, interrupt that if he wants. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. too bad just got called out i guess people were nervous you guys were walking around filming some stuff you people called you because i'm walking around with your camera yeah they said you had some pistols on you and whatnot too wow that's incredible so i was just coming to check everything out see how things were going okay. I, won't, I won't say anything okay can i help you yeah i'm looking by a stamp oh okay i'm just waiting on one i can help you sure oh i'm sorry no. thank you so much yeah so i just need one stamp please okay you guys, just for 
clarification, there's no pistols or anything on you or anything like that, right? Whatever you say. Okay. okay. Doesn't look like you're carrying it, just gotta make sure. I guess they saw your OC spray and were like, assuming you had a gun. You need five cents? No, here, I'll hit it and it'll tell you what answer. Okay. There you go. Okay. 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 So, you're asking me about filming and carrying a firearm. Both things that are perfectly illegal here. Are perfectly legal here. Right, no, I just told you that I was called here to make sure everything was okay. I didn't, I didn't say I was here to talk to you about filming or anything else. So, I just want to make sure everybody's okay here and that everybody's comfortable with the fact that you're filming in the facility, so. Well, I can't speak to everybody's comfort. I don't know about that. All right, that's all I'm here for is because we had a couple calls that you guys were walking around with cameras and somebody assumed or thought you had a firearm on you, so. Do you need your receipt? Yes, please. Thank you, man. But, um, but like I said, both things that are perfectly legal. So I'm right. sorry somebody wasted your time and called you about that. So. There you go. Thank, Thank you, man. If Appreciate that's all you're going to do, then we're going to get out of here and let you guys get back to your day. And can I just ask your name and badge number so I know who? Yep, talking? Deputy Tadlock, Crook County Sheriff's Office, badge number 1814. 1814, you, sir? Deputy Nick Kaminsky, Crook County Sheriff's Office, 185 is my badge number. 185, great. Okay, yeah. very good. Sorry, people right. uh, gave you a false alarm there. No worries. <laughs> I got to chit chat with these guys, so we're just, we're just go. Go, not have it, have at it. Yeah. I don't want to get in your way. Since it's concerning us, I'll just stick around and make sure I'm not needed for the conversation. Actually, it's not concerning you. It's about something else. Oh, okay. Well, they have a back room. If you knock on the door, they'll let you in. Okay. This is a public body, so if you're looking to have a private conversation, it's probably not a good place to do it. Okay. Right? Just out of curiosity, what are, you, what are you guys trying to do here? What am I, buy a stand? Okay. Just out of curiosity, what's with the GoPros? GoPros are used for taking video. Yeah, did something happen here that we need to be aware of that makes you guys need to film? Nothing that I'm aware of. Okay. So just, did something happen that's causing me to film? It. Yeah, just doing it to do it. Well, you have a, you're recording right now. Yeah, when well, we record Something everything. happened here to cause you to film? Yeah, this. This is what happened. Well, I don't know what this is. To what, a guy buying a stamp recording his transaction? Okay. I don't know. Well, you guys are good to go. If you want, I'm going to chit chat with these guys. All right, I'll stick around and just... Make sure it's all good. I'm in no rush. Hi. Hi. Can I help? Yeah. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, sure. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here. You stay in here? Yep. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see you later, man. Yep. Have a good day. Interesting. The uh, post, I'm sorry, somebody, I don't know if it was the post office, somebody called the sheriff's department and asked them to come because people were taking video and walking around with a firearm. And in like Wyoming. I said, yeah, in Wyoming. <laughs> and like I said, two perfectly legal activities, so I don't know what the. Uh, yeah. I think it's interesting that somebody would call you about somebody taking video. Yeah, well, you've seen all those First Amendment audit videos and stuff like that on YouTube people post. I'm guessing people are don't like people walk around with video cameras and like i said they thought you would one of you had a gun on you so. what are the first amendment videos what's that you're not aware of the youtube videos of the audit films people walking around federal buildings and public buildings no. taking video no. okay well they're on youtube you can look them up so is there anything wrong with that if they're doing it i am in, I'm, a, I'm a video guy for 30 right. something years so yeah I'm video not, is dear to my heart i mean i'm literally not here to argue with you once oh no, i'm not trying to argue like, with you i'm I asking just, a question i'm just telling you that that's kind of what and i'm saying if i'm coming off confrontational i apologize about that i'm, no, just, I'm just, originally from new york so i have a little bit of that built into my personality yeah, i can't shake so, you know? no i just like i said people called said they thought you had a gun on you you were walking around the post office filming so but what is what is so if this first amendment order thing if that's what it was is there any is there an issue with that if there's nothing that says you can't film, I don't know why you can't film. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. We are. We don't probably get service in here, so. We're good. In the post office. Yeah. Crook okay. County. Yes. That's an interesting name, right? Yeah. No, we're good. Sorry about that. You're free to go. Right, I'm not. I'm just going to go through yeah, there. Yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go Everything. ahead. So we good? Yeah, everything's good. You guys are good to go. You look a little like spooked, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what exactly we're trying to do here. I, I, 
It's not, so it's not typical for us to see I people that. carrying cameras inside the post office, so we're just trying to figure out what's yeah, actually going on. That's why well, just audit videos. Yeah, well, I was going to say, he told me it is typical. Not, 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 not here, right. but there are people out there that do what you do, but they're looking for particular particular information in public buildings. So that's why I was trying to figure out. They're if looking for particular, what type of information? Just, they're just information in public buildings that you can see from where we're at. Then they just walk around with cameras. Recording. So filming in public? Right. Basically. Oh, I support that 100%. So we're not going to bother you guys. You guys are good to go. They said you're good. You don't have any weapons or anything to be concerned about. So we're going to get out of your hair and let's get back to what you're so doing. So what, what's the concern with the weapon, even if there was? So you're not allowed to have them. You're not allowed to have them in, in, the, in the federal facility. Basically. Inside of a federal building. Yes. Yeah. Right. But you guys would have to then uh, contact Federal Protection Service, I guess, right? Because what kind of jurisdiction do you have on federal property? Right. Well, this is in our jurisdiction, so we can we can take federal action. property. Really? You sure about that? That's why we're here. That would require the postmaster having a signed agreement with your municipality. So that would be something that I could look into. Right. So maybe you should check on that and just see if that's yeah. the case. Because I, I, I mean, want you guys to do something if somebody, if somebody came in here and shot somebody, I have all rights to come in here and stop that. Threat. Well, so would I. So I would have the right to come in here and stop that if somebody came in here. And shot but if somebody. it's just a regular average citizen walking around in the post office with a gun, then it's not legal. Absolutely not. Law, That's correct. So. Which, and you know what? It's strange because on this particular post office, most post, post offices have a sign on the front door that says no firearms right. allowed. This one doesn't. Yeah, I was I didn't see one either. So yes, yeah, so that's but strange. Anyways, so that, that creates a, a, a legal uh, conundrum there. But if, uh, if you, you know what I'm going to do? And you know what I'm going to do? Because you guys have been very cordial, you've been very professional, and I appreciate that. So I'm going to tell you exactly what we're doing here. You nailed it. Okay. That's what we're doing. I, like I said, I, I figured that was going on, and I wasn't going to bother you guys too much because not. Not too worried about no, it. I appreciate you. Now, now, that I, now that the cat's out of the bag and I told you what I'm doing, I can drop my little bit of standoffishness. Right. I do that to see where you're going and see if you're going to try to give me unlawful orders and tell me I can't do no, something I'm doing. I'm not here to do any of that. You guys, you you guys really are involved look perplexed. in any so, No, I, 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 I just, You know what? I want you to leave here with all the knowledge you need, so ask me any questions you want to ask me. Seriously. It, it, someday that's why only we don't see this. The yeah, whole point of what we do is for education and positive interaction and dialogue and communication with law enforcement. So... If you have any questions, I'm here to answer them for you. Gotcha. You got an auditor that's a friendly guy that's trying to do things and create positive change in this world who's happy to answer your questions. So if you want to take advantage of that, here I am. Gotcha. Well, I, if I had all the time in the world, I'd stand here and chit-chat with you. Well, it's important stuff I, because I, it I might help you. Yeah, Can sure. we get your guys' names? Uh, no. Okay. Well, that's that's kind of what I figured, that you guys wouldn't give us And the only reason I do that, if we were, if I was not doing this right now, not conducting it on it, I'd give you my name. I, I'll give you my first name. is Jason. I'm not trying to hide who I am. But part of what we do is, this is my son. We've been traveling the country for almost two years. We've logged 35,000 road miles, visiting 32 different states across the country so far in defense of our Constitution. Gotcha. And it might seem a little bit strange to you, but I really want you to understand why we're doing it. I, have, I wasn't lying to you. I have a long career. I used to be a uh, staff photographer for the New York Times years okay. ago. I actually started their real estate section many, many moons ago. Uh, just a long history with video and photography. And my rights were attempted to be violated or actually violated many, many times on the job out taking video okay. and pictures in public, on a public sidewalk, in public places. I've been attacked. I've been all kinds of stuff happened. Gotcha. So for that reason, we've chosen video and photographs as our venue to stand up for our Constitution. Okay. Because right now, as far as I'm concerned, our Constitution, I've said it a thousand times, our Constitution is taking a proverbial ass whooping these days. And we're not very happy about it. So this is an exercise of rights. It's as simple as that. That's all it is. You're good to go, Cole. And I really want Kaminsky to understand that because Kaminsky, that's, you, you really, that's the most confused no, look at a police officer's face I think I've ever seen. Actually, I've dealt with this before. Okay. So it's really not. I just we're we're not gonna leave until you guys leave. So that's, oh, I'm not that's basically until you leave. well. That's that's where we're at now. No, we're gonna these guys are uncomfortable. So we got to stick around until you guys stay. I got to stick around until you leave so it doesn't get the appearance that I was chased out of the building. Okay. So we're all so, going to stand here for a while. I got literally 16 hours of battery with me. So in order to save everybody's time, right? because we have other stuff we got to Well, if you guys want to take off, I'll stick around for a minute or two and leave, and they'll probably never see me again. Right. But right. I can't get chased out of a public building. We're not going to chase you out. We're I'm, not chasing you I'm just going to just... ask you because you seem like you understand when I'm talking to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm probably be, the most reasonable First Amendment order you're ever going to meet. I can almost guarantee so you So because that. of the ladies in the back feeling uncomfortable, would it be okay if we all walked out of here together on a clean slate, no terms? I'm not telling you to walk out here. I will like not that. leave until you guys are gone. Okay, so. That's just what I have to do. 
And that, like I said, I'm being totally forthright and honest with you. We have no ill will. We have no nefarious intent. I have no weapons on me. We're not looking to cause these guys any alarm or issues or problems. Um, but we are here for a very specific reason to prove a point. Okay. So the last thing I can do is have law enforcement ask me to leave and then I leave. So like I said, I usually don't even tell you that, but I'm extending that to you because you've been polite and courteous yeah. and professional. Yeah. So once you guys leave, a minute or two, I'm out of here. Like I said, I'll probably never see you again. But I can't be chased out of this. I can't even have the appearance of that. All right, thanks, man. But you guys have made your department look very good so far, and I would just, my humble Ma suggestion. you're good to go. Yeah, you're, yeah, I would just worried, continue with we that. I apologize, we're in the way. Fine. Nope. Hey, don't so. so, yeah, I would just continue on with that if you guys are interested in looking good, making your department look good. And they have no reason to be alarmed. All I did was come in and buy a stamp. Right. But, I mean, it goes back to. I used a credit card, so they already know who I am. It just goes back to you can't speak on everybody else's comfort. I can't speak on their comfort. And they can't speak on what I'm allowed to do and so, what I'm not allowed to do as long as I'm following the law. And I am. Because I could le legitimately, I could hang out here all day because I'm working on a store. And it is for public broadcast, so it will be disseminated, and um, it's what I do. Right, no, I, I fully expect I'll, I'll see it on YouTube sometime. Yeah, so make yourself look good. That's all. I mean, you can call a sergeant. Sergeant will tell you to take off. If you get your sergeant or a lieutenant or somebody out here and they get the full breadth of the situation, they'll tell you to take off. I can assure you. Yep, and that's exactly what's going on right now. Yeah. We, we have the under sheriff coming down here. So before we leave and basically this you got to cover your bases. A lawful request by them, we're going to have somebody else come and tell it's us. It's not a lawful request. It's only a lawful request if I'm breaking the law or creating a disturbance. No, it's a lawful request that we hang out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You guys can hang out all day, sure. I don't want to do that to you, but that's your choice. I hope you don't make me regret being honest with you. No, I, I have no intention of making you regret anything. Good. See, I think what's making people nervous is the two of you standing here. You guys want to come back up off the Yeah, okay, but you? I don't want to be on that. Okay. If you want to come back later, I can take it for you. Yep. Yep. Thanks. Okay. Stamp letters, I'm assuming. Hey, man, you can come through. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? It really is. Uh, I'm a little older than you guys. And I remember back in the day when somebody would have a camera out in public and people would jump in front of the camera and say, hi, mom, and wave and laugh and yeah. giggle. I'm, my goal is to bring those days back. I know I have a tall task in front of me, and I'm not going to change the world by myself, but I don't right. think anybody should be afraid of the camera. Unfortunately, anymore, now they are. And I actually, a couple of people walked up and asked me what we were doing. We were outside and I had a very cordial conversation with a few people. Yeah. I'm talking to people just like I'm talking to you. Not trying to cause any alarm or right, upset. Yeah, and but now if people want to get upset and they choose to be alarmed because that's what they want to do. I can't. Nothing I can do about that. Okay. I so I certainly don't feel like I'm inspiring alarm with a camera. Like I said, I gave you the reason why we're here. Yeah. That's, that's that's what we got called in for. So as long as they're uncomfortable, we got to hang out, and it's at their request. Until our supervisor gets here and determines otherwise, we're going to hang out. Have you ever read Poster Seven? Do you I want to get an education today? Because and I'm not trying to talk like I'm. I know any more than you do. Right. I'm sure you're much more learned on other things that I know nothing about. But I'm very versed on the law as far as this is concerned. So right here, if you want to educate yourself, it's up to you. But I think it might help you out on the next one. This is Poster Seven. Mm -hmm. Hangs in every post office across the country, and it is the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal service property, yep. which gives us express permission to be here taking video right and i'm not disputing and i say express permission it it confirms our right to be here right and i'm not disputing that i like i said it's just people call us as an uncomfortable situation yeah but people getting uncomfortable for a lawful constitutionally protected activity is a bogus deal i i, I and, and i think you would serve them better going inside and speaking to them and saying man they're just out here taking some video we know what they're doing they're not looking to harm anybody. They're just looking to take some video. We're going to leave. They're going to be out of your hair in a couple of minutes. And they probably say, okay, great. They, but in, instead of exacerbating their fear, I think that would probably be a better option. Right. And Deputy you know, just my suggestion. Spoke to them. Excuse me? I don't think Deputy Kaminsky told them what we were doing and that there was nothing to worry about. He just probably listened to what they had to say and said he'd stick around and yeah, so keep the place safe. Them. But I would, I would just suggest to you guys, fostering fear is probably not a good idea in our society right now. 
If you don't really, you've done a threat assessment, you've had threat assessment training, you know I'm not a threat. You're not concerned with what I'm doing. You know you know what I was doing before I even admitted it to you. Yeah. So you guys know what I'm doing. So right. when you communicate that to them and lower their stress level and lower their, their worry and why leave them back there twisting in the wind thinking there's something going on here that's not. But that, I'm just a suggestion. I'm just, you know, one man's opinion. Hold on. The under-sheriff. Yes, sir. How's it going? Good. How are we doing, sir? What can I do for you? Oh, nothing. These uh, gentlemen, I guess, called you, and uh, I was actually asking if there was a supervisor around. Yeah. Uh, because I just told... I'm sorry. What was your last name again? I'm Tadlock. Tadlock. I just told uh, Deputy Tadlock exactly what we're doing here. Okay. And I suggested to them that if they called the higher up and called the supervisor, you'd probably tell them to get back on the road and go back to work and do what they're well, doing. Well, they were checking you out because they have lots of complaints here in town. Oh, no, I get that. And it's I explained small town it. America, and when people are walking around video, and they get nervous. Yep, so, and I told them exactly what we're doing. Okay. So we're what still are? here. I told them that we're not leaving until we are told otherwise because okay. these ladies asked us to stick around until they leave. And what are you doing, I guess? I understand. First Amendment audit. Yeah, okay. So... At the end of the day, what it is now, the other thing is too, what you guys have to appreciate is you hear First Amendment audit and you picture in your mind these guys running around trying to instigate people into a fit and cause problems right. and right. Maybe not all First Amendment orders are like right. that. I'm traveling with my son. Okay. We, we don't behave that way. I have okay. a couple of people that watch our channels. We right. try to be respectful. Right. Understand. There's a huge divide in this country right now between law enforcement and the citizenry. Part of what we, there's not here in this town. Maybe not in this town, but across the country, okay. it's, a, it's a huge problem. And what we, we've been in 32 states in the past okay. two years. And what we try to do is open up communication and dialogue with law enforcement okay. and have the conversation, find that middle Correct. ground, get a better understanding for what each other right. are doing. And that's all it's about. Right. Positive results and education. Okay. That's what we're looking for. Well, that's a big thing here in a small town. It's out of the ordinary. Oh, I get so it. People start calling us. What I suggest to we this, are going to come check it out. Uh, absolutely. That's it's your so. obligation. You're, right. Yeah, you'd be lacking in your responsibility. But I've responsibility. had like five texts already. What's going on at the post office? Oh, I'm sure it's different, like so you said. So it's wasting our time. No, what I think is wasting your time is I get people calling, right? right. But what I suggest, my humble suggestion to Deputy Tadlock was instead of exacerbating the fear, now that I've been completely forthright and honest and explained right. what I'm doing, right. just go in the back, tell the ladies, now you know exactly right. what I'm doing, you know why we're here, until we break the law or violate no, some I kind of law. No, I understand that. So, and then they asked me if I would go but outside. But people are going to keep coming in here. Well, I'm not going to stick around all day. What's going on, I, so. What I told the officer, the deputies was, is as soon as they leave, right. I stick around for a minute or two and then I leave, just okay. so I don't give the appearance of me getting chased out of here. Sounds good. Yeah, nope. That's all it is. I'm fine with that. Can I go with the wire? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Um, so we get to deal with this. So Well, yeah. you know what? Everything in life is an opportunity, right? right? So it's either an opportunity to say we have to deal with this nonsense right. inconvenience, or this is a chance for some education, which never hurts. We live in a very fast changing world. Right. I'm out here to educate myself, educate my son, mm -hmm. and if anybody else can learn something today, right. and we can all shake hands and walk away being better men, right. and having found some kind of middle ground and understanding for right. what each other are doing, I got no issues with that. No, I'm fine. That's all it's about. All right, thanks. All right, sir. We're good. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, your name was? You guys have a great Todd. day. Is it your undersheriff? Yes. Todd? Limeser. Limeser. Yep. Appreciate you. And badge hey. number, sir? What? Can I just get your badge number, 18 sir? 18-2. 18 too. I really yep. appreciate your professionalism okay. and courtesy. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you guys. All right. Have a good day. Have a good day, Commissioner. Right. So now the issue is, is uh, all right. we just have to stick around until they take off. Odds are they're probably just going to hang out outside here for a while. All right, guys, uh, you saw how that went here at the Sundance Post Office. Um, if you have any feedback for the uh, post office or the sheriff's office, all our contact info is in the description as usual. Uh, you can let them know what you think. I think it's uh, important uh, that we let the uh, good places know when they do good and the places that perform less than, uh, less than expected, uh, let them know about that. So if you appreciate this video, you like what we do, and you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is to like, subscribe, comment, 
uh, turn on notifications, all that. Check out my other social medias. So right after our intro, as we're getting ready to leave, oh, no. this uh, undercover uh, uh, sheriff just showed up. So we'll see what he has to say. Are you the sheriff, buddy, Chancellor? Yes, I am. Can I introduce myself to you? Nope. I'll no? Be, I'll really? Be, I'll be back with you in a minute. Really? Yeah. Why? Really? So you try to be professional and courteous? I'm and going in here to do business. Yeah, but that was a little rude, don't you think? Well, fuck off then, jack off. You're a fool. You're a fool. What did you just call I me? I said you're a fool. Did you just call me an asshole? No, I don't, no, I did not. You better not. Well, I can say whatever I want. What do you mean, I better not? What are you talking about? Okay. You're coming with me. For what? You do not get away with calling me an asshole. What are you talking about? It's called I did not, sir, it's on video. I did yeah. not say that. There's a lady. She misunderstood me just like you did, sir. He didn't say that, dude. Sir, I just walked up and you're offered making to a introduce mistake. myself to you. Why don't you stop acting I, like a tyrant and just not, talk to me? Dude, I'm going inside to do business. So, talk, so you just grabbed me by the wrist, accused me of doing something I didn't do. It's all on video, man. Yeah, and why don't you talk to your undersheriff? You're, you're picking on the wrong guys. You really are. You have no idea what you're doing. And I'm not going to call you what you said, but I think you're a fool. Wow. Just grabs me by the wrist. Wow. Did you see? You got that on video? Yeah. Good. All right. So that was the sheriff. Now, so Crook this is the actual about sheriff. Uh, Crook County is about to get a lawsuit, and uh, I bet a oh, few phone calls from you guys. Here, guys. So you we thought we were out of here. We actually had the tur cameras turned off over with the intro. So, Crook County Sheriff. Here's a uh, Sheriff Dipshit's uh, vehicle here. Earn themselves a nice little lawsuit. And uh, what a clown. We had just wrapped up, and the actual sheriff, highest guy in the force, uh, decides he wants to make a clown out of himself. Assault AP. Just grab me by the wrist. Yeah, document it good. Well, there's no marks. He gave me a little bit of an Indian bro, but there's no marks. Well, now you get to answer the door for the process, sir. You know what? I do not have the time. You to have a mental disorder. Like you. you have a mental disorder. You do, and I'm going to see you in court, buddy. We're going to make you pay. And I'm not the one out here filming and making. Yeah, well, you're a deep caca. I don't want to curse in front of you because you can't handle it. And you know what? My First Amendment right says I can say whatever I want to you. So you know what? I do think you're. A... Say it. Why? You're going to arrest me if I curse? Yeah, on a public right. sidewalk? Absolutely. You're going to arrest me? Go ahead. Keep making my lawsuit for me, buddy. Go ahead and call What's me. What's your badge number? Go ahead and call me. How do you me say your name? How do you say your name? How do you pronounce your name? Beat it. Officer Fool? <laughs> Sheriff Dumbass? That's what it is, yeah. See you later, buddy. Keep up. Answer the, answer the door for the process, sir. I'm filing a massive lawsuit against you. You just did that on federal property. You just grabbed my wrist and it's all on video. You're as smart as you think you are. Oh, I'm much smarter than you, buddy. It's not federal property. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. What's that? You're an idiot. Verbal harassment. Get in your truck and go home. You guys are just... I walked up and offered to introduce myself to you and have a cordial conversation. You created this mess, fool. And you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. You look at me, you see that I'm... Yeah, really small town little him. Andy Griffith sheriff here thinks he's the man, dude. You're going to see. You're going to see. I'll see you in court, you buddy. Guys some real people. See you in court, buddy. Adios. Kick rocks. Toodaloo. Bye-bye. We'll see you in court. I'm not going nowhere. Oh, well, you also have an ego problem. I'm going to leave you alone because you have a mental disorder. Good idea. Is there a legal issue here? Nope. Just your Go ego. Your just your ego problem, huh? Go about your business. You just admitted there's no legal issue. No, there's not. Right. I'm, I'm doing my business right now, buddy. See you in court, bro. Keep drinking that sugar water. Whoa. The sheriff has to show up and ruin the entire situation for everybody. Remarkable. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. And he doesn't seem to think this is uh, federal property either. Guy really thinks he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, he does. Well, he's going to learn a lesson today. This one's getting a lawsuit filed against some gentleman. 
you guys always say you guys always hear me say that i'm not interested in following lawsuits this one's going right to my attorney today immediately so you can count on that there will absolutely be a follow-up on this one the actual sheriff is coming and assaulting people on federal property he's actually gonna sit there all day I can't wait to look up how much this guy gets paid. <laughs> well, we're going to find out a lot about this guy. All right, let's go take a walk. I'm done here. He's boring. I'm not even going to sit here looking at him anymore. What a clown. Thinks he knows everything that's going on and he knows nothing. See you in court, Sheriff asshole. <laughs> 